Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of War Robots Test Server. This is 2022, October 15th and 16th, Saturday, Sunday. Here we have a new robot uh, for your demonstration uh, entertainment. This is Angler, Evo Life robot. It has a physical shield at the front and an ability uh, which uh, surrounds it and the immediate enemies around it with an electric vortex and then enters phase shift uh, at the end of the ability all the enemies within that radius are blinded and they can't fire their weapons while this robot can but while it's in phase shift presumably it cannot uh, also there's the immune amplifier this is another example of uh, Pixonic, I think, unfortunately, solving a problem that it created where it makes, the, here's some statistics for you to see, where it increases speed, it gives extra durability, and it uh, makes it immune from the effects like blinding, like uh, freezing, suppression, and so on. So it's fixing a problem that Pixonic created where it makes the game difficult uh, and un desirable to play because you can't move, you can't shoot, you can't you can't see or uh, you can't, you're frozen and so on. Okay, and it's also the new weapons, the indirect fire weapons, let's have a look. The claw, here's some details, uh, the claw, the jaw, and the talon. This is the uh, light version. It's essentially an indirect fire missile. Somewhat similar to a vortex type of firing, except it's uh, fires one missile at once rather than its whole salvo at once. Okay, there it is, the claw. Okay, now here's the Talon, the heavy version, I believe. Yes, here it is. So instead of uh, launching all of that once, it launches one missile at once. Let's do the same to this angler. I don't particularly find this robot that useful because it's somewhat slow, so for you to get in your enemies into that vortex is very difficult. Alright, let's take a look at some other ships here. We have the Durability Extender turret. But that doesn't seem to be available. happens if we change ships. No, it's still not available. Let's try. No, there's no durability extender turret available. It should increase the durability of the robot when activated, so it's like a defense. Let's copy the ID. Okay, I'm going to put this on pause. Okay, and we're back. Thank you for your patience. Start with the angler. 
as you'll see it's somewhat slow so getting enemies inside your vortex is going to be difficult inside your radius you see it's got that uh, radius on display here for probably the player who's now in my front Okay, I'm going to try to get this enemy into my I'm getting an enemy into my sphere here, my bubble, and then I uh, suppose I should blind them. It's not a defensive uh, ability, so I don't find that useful. And while you're in phase shift, you can't fire, you can't uh, capture beacon. See, I'm firing these missiles at that Seraph. kind of fun to play, you can be behind barriers like this and still fire, but not too close. Okay, go straight up, so that's useful. send me inside my bubble here presumably blind them that's it for that robot here's the other angler I'm gonna try to use this ability to get me faster you can move faster but uh, you lose in your ability in the next several seconds, but regained it in 10 seconds. That's quite fast Thank you very much for watching. That's it for anything that's new. Please uh, consider subscribing and definitely do press the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. It'll help me bring this video out to more viewers. Thank you for watching. Hello? Go ahead. Wait for me to acknowledge I'm recording. Go ahead. How so? Because we have the method for what type of error, but it's not actually an error. All you can do is hit close and then hit start driving. I think it's just supposed to see what type of error that is. Close? Yeah. Start up whether you can just press say uh, register your CSDS. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, then. It doesn't make me make sense for me to.